What up everybody, this is Ken from Dad Bros Garage. So in this video, we are gonna go ahead and install a car stereo in the truck. I want some tunes. I know the truck's gonna be pretty loud with the big block running around, but when you're actually cruising in the cab, especially if it's cold, I might have the windows up and it might not be as loud in the cab, so I figured I'd go ahead and get a little system in there, you know? This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, you know, I've, I've had a little, I've had a little experience installing car radios, especially as a younger person. Uh, I actually went out and bought some of the stuff that I'm going to install. I'm still waiting on some of the stuff in the mail, which I'm going to hopefully get for soon. Uh, here you got an Alpine head unit. It's Bluetooth, modern, modern touch since my truck has basically that opening for the, the where the stereo goes because somebody else cut it. I went and purchased the Brothers aluminum bezel for that area as well. Uh, for I'm still waiting for the kick panels to come in the mail, so hopefully here in the next couple days those should be here. Uh, I will include those that installation in this video as well as I got the um, rear part and behind the seat in the corners. This, this is all steel. I'm going to install this with 6x9, so I'm going to have to drill some holes for to in, install those as well and uh, I'm going to I'm going to actually going to install an amp I have I have an uh, an Alpine amp for my two six and a halfs and two six by nines that I'm going to install in the back and I'm going to leave an opening for perhaps subwoofers in the next couple weeks as, as well I'm considering buying those just because you know, if I'm going to go all out in this truck and make it sound good, might as well just put a whole full system into it. Uh, I'm actually going to build the subwoofer box myself. I'm bringing that for you guys so you can see me do that. That's going to be really fun. It's going to have some nice tunes. I can't wait to hear what it sounds like. I can't wait to hear. I know the first song I'm going to play is going to be One by Metallica. That part of the song where they just goes crazy. It's going to be pretty nice. Can't wait to hear it. And I'm going to go ahead and bring you the entire car stereo installation. I have basically everything here to complete my stereo install. I have the amplifier wiring kit, the actual amp plus remote to the stereo. We have the stereo. I have a four channel, art, like I think these are RCA cables. I have the, this is the bezel for this, this console here from, this is from Brothers. Solid aluminum. Basically goes in here. Like that. I have the, I have the uh, kick panels, which... This piece right here will be cut off here because there is a. Uh, it's, it's dark. Get the old light going here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright. Oh, this, I'm going to have to do something with that. Cloth. Well, there's a. It was like a, this thing is in the way. So, definitely wasn't to cut any holes in the door. But that's something I see people do, and that's something you should not do, is just destroy your door. I would never do that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, if I get the speakers. All Alpine, as you notice, is all Alpine. I wanted to stick with one brand. Uh, I was going to do like a basic Pioneer, but I wanted to do a little, a different brand. I'm always getting Pioneer stuff. I don't know why. There's a S series and an R series. Hopefully they'll still hook up together. I hope that is not really much of a, it's all four ohms. So, 
Well, I can do this at two ohms, and that's four ohms. So I'll have to just do. I'll have to do 55 watt. The Alpine head unit is actually it's only 18 uh, watts per channel, so uh, the the amp will definitely increase the the volume and the and uh, the enjoyment of the stereo system. You know, I got all it has all the outputs I need to hook up to the amp and future subwoofer amps or uh, subwoofer uh, amp and speakers. Uh, I do plan on getting an amp, maybe. I'm going to listen to what it sounds like with just the four speakers because this engine is really loud. Uh, we'll see how that sounds with just the four speakers for now. And maybe in the future, in the near future, I will go ahead and get the, the subwoofers and I'll get an amp for those too. But yeah, this that amp will definitely be a, a decent upgrade even though it's only 55 watt i mean in the future i can i don't know perhaps i can get a different amp or different speakers most likely probably just a different amp i can swap it out if i wanted to get two ohms that's all right I'm, i'll be happy with that i'm not really gung-ho about listening to it super loud but yeah that's basically about about it it for now i mean i'm gonna get this installed wiring kit definitely gonna get that installed for the amp where am i gonna install this app the amp anyway well th i've been debating on that actually because you know the, i don't have the seat in here all the way it's not bolted in as you can see and there's not there's barely any room back there for for anything so i think for now i'm gonna attach my amp to a piece of this hard plastic that I got. I do believe I still have some of this hard plastic here where I made a relay panel there a long time, like a year or two ago. I do believe I still have some of that plastic somewhere. And I thought about just installing that on the floor for now. I might just like Velcro it or tape it to the floor or something because and because I don't want the amp directly on the floor because it generates a lot of heat uh, And also because when I do go to get a subwoofer in the future, perhaps I want to be able to pick the amp up and just bolt it to the MD, uh, I think it's called MDF board the subwoofer board. I forget what it's called MDS. I don't know uh, but yeah, the amp is just going to be under the seat, like in a temporary position. This way, you know, I can move it. And I'm not going to cut any cables. I'm there, the cables are just going to remain like full length because I'm going to have to move it around and all that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and then uh, let's get this started. I'm going to go ahead and start the head unit first, get the head unit and the wiring installed because I want to be able to sit down while I'm doing it on my seat. But once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the seat to go ahead and install my 6x9 brackets that I'm going to put the 6x9s into and I'll start working on the kick panels. Alright, so I want to show you something that's kind of got me a little irritated with this uh, Brothers uh, aluminum bezel. Uh, it comes with a template that you tape up and you drill. And, uh, okay, so I taped it up and drilled it. I'm going to show you guys something. Okay, that hole's lined up, right? See something different here? It's off by, what, like a half an inch almost? And I already drilled the holes where it's supposed to go. So, you know, I just punk put two holes unnecessarily in my dash because of this brother's bezel so just uh showing you guys be careful don't uh you know make make this make a mistake i just made i'll tell you what fellas getting this thing uh installed is uh, a major challenge um uh, you know you have to drill holes 
and hopefully the the holes you get you got to get them lined up right and then trying to get the the screws to come in from the other side and having them line up with the template that gave you is a challenge i basically had to make my own template and then drill holes i thought i was going to be slick and drill holes basically around the same size as the actual holes on this uh but that that did not work out at all i basically uh used a drill bit several sizes bigger and since the, there's a washer that comes in comes with all the four bolts the washer is basically doing all the holding to the other side and uh you know it holds though so it's it's straight it's level since uh the template was wrong two of the holes over here are, are kind of over probably like a little bit more this way which is it's still somewhat okay uh, there is some spots here that i might have to take the grinder to and get those marked down a little bit just this way I can fit the radio in there. I want to try to fit the radio in there first before I take the grinder in there to the steel part here. But uh, yeah, got it. We got it installed. It's all tightened down. There are tabs. Once you get your uh, frame, your frame thingy inside here, there are little tabs here that you can actually bend to secure it to this bracket. This is completely screwed on here. So you can see little tabs here. And you just kind of push them. Push them in like that. Oh. And there's another one above it that can probably be pushed into. Let's get this top one in here. Kind of helps secure it. Kind of hard doing this one-handed honestly i could probably use a smaller let me get a smaller screwdriver here in case we didn't see anything i just did all right so we got this basically secured in here uh you know we got this, the bezel screwed into the to the frame and this this inside tab that goes over the radio it comes with all these little tabs as you can see, I kind of I bent a bunch of them in that, that basically uh, secures this whole frame to this, so this ain't moving. And once I'm ready, once I get the radio wires from inside here, I'll just get it all hooked up and put it in there for, for myself. We have liftoff. I'm just kidding. So the blue and white one right here goes to the remote, or I'm sorry, this goes to the amplifier. This basically tells the amplifier to turn on whenever uh, I turn the radio on. Yellow is solid power. The red is ignition power. And black is obviously ground. Thank goodness this uh, auto wire auto kit for this truck that I installed a long time ago has the wires directly for it. So like the tan is ignition, or like turn the ignition on and uh, yellow is solid power. And I have my ground strip for all my other stuff that I'm gonna mount, I have it, it's loose right now. But when I'm done, I'm gonna install it up in there more so you can't see it. All this other stuff is, I think this is for the horn or something. Um, but yeah. All this rest of the stuff here, you know, this is just for your speakers. If you wanna hook this directly to, your speakers directly to the, your uh, head unit. But the head unit only gives out 18 watts per per channel, so it's not very very good at all. Uh, I'm gonna do end up doing uh, like 50, 55 watts or something. This is the amp. I'm just gonna do basic, you know, four channel. Has all your inputs right there for it. This should be good enough for me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm actually going to see if this turns on real quick. Oh, I'm going to try to do this one-handed actually too. I 
I think I can, I should be able to just turn this on real quick. Accessory not work. Is my battery dead? I wonder. What? That works. It should be. The accessory should drive. Should be working. It's unusual. There's, there's no power going to the amp or the, the stereo yet. I wonder if this has to be pushed all the way in. What did I do wrong? Oh, <laughs> there's no fuse. I forgot about the fuse in the, in the radio. One second. All right, let's try this again. With the fuse in it. Look at that. That's awesome. Alpine tuner. Oh, the oh yeah, I forgot. So the radio, I never, I I didn't buy the antenna yet. I completely forgot about it. I think uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the antenna probably this upcoming Wednesday actually. Yeah, awesome. All right, so that's obviously working. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead. Now this this is. I'm gonna take the wiring back out or the, this uh, whole harness out. All these loose wires, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna zip tie them all. Like, I'm gonna just zip tie all this extra. And uh, tape it all up and get it out of the way. Cause I'm only gonna be using the, the main power and, and then I'm gonna plug in the, the subwoofer wires or the RCA cables or whatever you call them. But yeah. Let's get going. So in order to get the kick panel in here, I'm gonna have to take this this lever off here. There's two bolts behind it. I think there's seven sixteenths. Which I'm gonna keep the screws here. Try to. You know, I'll basically just take that off. And then I got my little shears here. That's light, I swear. It's always in my way. I'm gonna take these shears and I'm gonna cut this piece off right here. Cause that can't it won't fit up it won't fit up there because uh the frame. The other side is fine, but it's just the frame over here. Actually, I don't, I don't think you have to take this off. I'm just gonna out here, and when I go to when I go to put this up here, let's see if I can do it real quick. Yeah, see, it's that's in the way. I'm gonna have to cut that real quick. All right, so got this side basically installed. Uh, okay, so I used double-sided tape to go across there, all the way down, right there. And you actually have to take your your door rubber, take it off, and I just put it over the top of that, and it works just fine. So I am going to go ahead and screw this back on here. Which, uh, this thing right here, but I gotta figure out where, 
I gotta figure out where the holes are. Hopefully that's where the holes are because I'm gonna go ahead and drill it back in there. It still opens up. So it's still, you're still able to use that, I guess. I'm just gonna screw that, screw that in here. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I'm gonna see where the speaker is, the, or the back of the speaker is. And uh, I might actually put a circle of the uh, dynamat, the kilomat stuff in there as well. So, all right, let me get this secured real quick. So we basically got this uh, kick panel installed, all screwed in and drilled in, and I even got the wire going here with it, hink, the heat shrink going around the connections. I got the wire going underneath the carpet over here. Uh, I am going to try to push the the wire underneath the carpet more because I'm going to run the power line through here, and I, I guess you can't. I was told anyway to keep the power and the speakers away from each other because they could do a lot of interference and stuff. All right, we are finished with this side over here. I just want to show you guys kind of what I got accomplished here. So here's your here's the speaker. It's jutting about an inch out of the the thing here. I will not actually You know, some of this I have to kind of manually fix up here. But uh, some of this I did kind of rig up, I guess you could say. I will not say what I had to do in order to make this. See how there's a gap between the speaker and this thing right here? I won't say what is in between there. It's my secret. But uh, I, was, I thought I was gonna cut a hole in the metal here, but I did drill a hole in there and I noticed that that's the support for the door and that'd be, I didn't wanna do it anymore, so I just quite quit. But I did manage to do something that's really solid. This whole situation is real solid. So it's good enough. I mean, I did put some I did cover up my rig job here up with some of this felt cloth stuff and I will not say what I used to make this solid inside here. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing, but it works. That's all I care about. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the other side going now. My neighbor told me that there was a car show right now happening in uptown. And I really would like to go, but I am fully engulfed in the flames of putting this thing together right now. I want to get this done. I thought I was going to be able to get this all done today. But it looks like I'm going to have to work on it tomorrow as well. So, I'm going to continue on. Alright, fellas. So, uh, I jumped kind of way ahead here. I just got carried away. So, I got... I got the other speaker hooked up over there. Obviously I got this one hooked up. I even started working the amp. I got the power and everything, ran to the amp. I got, the, I got grounded to one of these bolts on the other side. Uh, the remote's hooked up, the speakers are all hooked up. I don't like this, this wire's kind of big for this amp it seems like. Uh, I got that one kind of going there. Uh, you know, it's real simple. Just plug and play, really. Just make sure your positive and negative wires are where they're good, where they go. I started messing around with the fuse here. All right, wired to the battery there. I got a fuse up to there, and I got it going to the firewall there. Uh, here's a grant. I'm kind of freaking out here. I don't want this thing to explode on me. I'm going to short circuit anything. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I, see what happens if I turn this. I was supposed to go to a car show today, but this thing has really got me going. 
that's on this thing I don't know if it's on or not There's something noise. I can't tell what it is. That's on. Some low. I hear fuzzy. I hear noise. Oh, there that is. It turned on. Awesome. So I'm going to play something here, I guess. So this thing really rocks just with two speakers. This is exactly what I wanted. Amp cranks it up real good. You know, it sounds really, really good. There is an issue that I'm trying to, I don't know what it, what's going on here, but when I have the key and accessory, Hear this? Something on the EFI is making a wreck. I don't know what that is. It's irritating. I don't know. It doesn't, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it doesn't uh, do it when I have the engine and running, but. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the six by nines, you know. I don't have the stereo on because I can't play music because of copyright and all that crap. But uh, it, it jams really well. I'm really uh, happy with this so far. So we're going to go ahead and get the uh, 6 by 9s installed. We got the uh, 6 by 9 frames in here. I actually had to pound these with a hammer, so it's kind of roughed up shape. But uh, I got these off eBay. I can link these in the description for you guys if you want. Y'all want me to, but uh, basically I just put this in first and uh, this tab actually touches like right here. So I took a hammer and I just basically just right here, just pounded in there. Now it's completely wedged up in there and it won't move. I mean, it can move a little bit, but I'm actually, or it touched metal to metal. I might throw a weld in there or something and maybe bolt this down right here. I'll drill this down into the frame or something. Maybe, probably don't need to, but I will just toss a little weld in here. I don't have a light in here so you guys can see. Let me get my light real quick so I can show you all. I've been using the hell of my light and it keeps dying and I need to keep using it. So I run it for another 10 minutes till it dies again. All right, so. Yeah, I can probably scrape a little bit of that up, toss a little weld, a weld in there, just zap it real quick, and the same thing over there in that corner, and because uh, most of the movement is on top here. Oh, see? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and zap it now. I was gonna wait till later, but I'm just gonna because it's, it's it's so wedged in on the on the bottom. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just going to, I'm going to zap it. Get this down there as hard as it can. And zap it. Little zappy zap. And uh, we'll uh, get her welded. Do that before I start putting the speakers in here. Alright, so we got one down back here. One more to go. I've been listening to music. I just... Turn it on to listen a little bit, and this thing really rocks once you get it, you know. Uh, word of advice for you guys that are trying to do this. Uh, make sure you drill your holes outside of the truck instead of in the truck. Because now I got metal shavings that will not come out of the carpet. I'm going to have to, like, vacuum, get these by hand or something, because those things are attached to the carpet. And I'm going to put something down on the on the carpet before I drill those holes but that's worth it's a nightmare 
Uh, listening to this stereo this system so far, it sounds really good. I'm like really, it sounds better than my 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 regular car. And uh, you know, there for a while, I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna get subwoofers. But listen to this stereo system in here. I think I'm gonna change my mind. <laughs> I might go buy another amp. And uh, you know, get some woofers back here and get it really bumping because this sounds really good. Maybe I will uh, find some non copyrighted songs or something and I'll put it in there and record the sound for you guys because it sounds really good. I got my Bluetooth and my Spotify attached to this stereo, it sounds really freaking good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this last one installed and I'm gonna call it, call it quits for the night. <clears throat> All right, fellas, I'm poop for the night. So, you know, I got this, both, all the speakers installed. I still have to put the cover on that one. That one's kind of a, that one was an epic piece of pain in the butt for me. Uh, I got to fix one of the screws. And But they're all hooked up, and I just was playing it. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up, put the covers back on the speakers, uh, well, not that one, that, that one over there, uh, that cover right there is just an epic pain in the butt. I can't get it on there right. It keeps wanting to come off for some reason, but, uh, we're going to try it anyway. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this all cleaned up, put the seat back in here. This way I can take it for a drive. And, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to play a song so you guys can hear what it sounds like in here on my Instagram. This way I don't get dinged on YouTube here. So if you guys want, um, just uh, click over on my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, my uh, Instagram. It's uh, Instagram.com Ken's72C10. Uh, the link is in the, the description. It's on my channel page. Uh, you can hear what it sounds like there. All right. All right, fellas. That should be it. Uh, I cleaned up most of the wires the best I could I'm trying to separate them. It's really hard But uh I'm gonna put the seat in now If I just end up putting the amp up here while I, like that while I put the seat down then I'll, I'll Put the seat or I'll put the amp down underneath it. I really want to vacuum in here My shop back is broke but uh, yeah, I decided to take the covers off each one of the speakers because it was just too hard, <laughs> too difficult to put them back on. They kept on wanting to come back off, and I, I said, what the, hell, what the hell? You can see where I did a, I zinged a little weld in there. It was pretty crappy, but it's holding. This thing jams really, really, really well. Like I said, if you want to... Uh, Check and see what this sounds like. Uh, check, go on my Instagram. Uh, and you'll see the uh, latest update on there of me playing a good tune on here for you guys. But yeah, that's the installation of the car stereo. Thing works really well. I'm gonna, you know, I'm leaving this kind of uh, loose for now because. I do plan on getting a subwoofer and a subwoofers and, and an amp for that too. And I'm going to build a whole enclosure here for the subwoofers. I actually, uh, Alpine actually sells a good one for, for a decent price included with an amp and a whole, basically a whole kit I'm considering just purchasing and just setting that up back here. Might just do that. So I probably won't, I'll probably just put the seat down. I probably won't bolt it down yet. And uh, I'm going to go get this thing vacuumed because it needs it bad. What do you guys think? Simple? Easy? Oh, uh, one thing, one last thing I want to show you guys. This uh, enclosure over here, if you guys, just in case you guys are wondering, it blocks the, the bright switch. So... I think I'm gonna mount this somewhere else. Probably like right here. So I can just, I'll just hit it with my hand if I, if I ever want brights, which I'll never probably ever use my brights anyway. Uh, I'm wondering if I can just, I wonder if there's a switch. I can just hook that up to, which I think there is. 
Uh, one of my ne my next purchases is some guy that he makes little brackets here for this thing. So I don't smoke or anything, so I don't need an ashtray. And it's like a switch thing here. I'm gonna put that on there so I have a bunch of switches. I'm gonna do a switch for the brights, switch for, I might do a, another light for behind the bed and a few other things that I can't think of right now. And then I'll definitely get my vintage air. But yeah, what do you guys think? I like it. All right, that's my video, guys. I just wanted to show you the my car stereo installation. These things are pretty awesome. My truck's pretty dirty. I need to clean it. So, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all out there. Take care.